May. Hey. How are you? I'm great. What about you? I'm great. We aren't here in your normal house. Where are we? We're actually in my house in Florida with my family. Awesome. Can I come in? Oh yeah, of course. Come on in. So, how are you liking Florida? I absolutely love it. It reminds me a lot of Guam. It's warm, but it makes me kind of homesick. So, what are you up to this summer? I'm just traveling the United States, seeing friends and family right before I head to college. What college are you attending? I'm going to St. Thomas Aquinas College in New York. I'll be running indoor, outdoor, track, and also cross country. Are you starting to prepare for cross country? Yes, of course. <laughs> Can you give me an example of your daily workout? I am running four to five miles every day. I'm doing core and also some weights. So a healthy diet is an important part of training. What's your favorite snack? Anything with an avocado in it. <laughs> Can you cook? No. Good thing I'll be staying in the dorms. Are you excited about staying in the dorms? Yes, very much. Have you talked to any of your roommates yet? Yes, I have three roommates and I'm really excited to spend my time with them. Speaking of college, what is your major? I will be double majoring in public relations and broadcast. You have a lot of previous experience with broadcasting, right? Yes. I have done an internship at Guam Web TV and I also did my morning broadcast at my high school. Awesome, that's really cool. Let's talk a bit about your personal life. What is a quote you live by? Pain is temporary, victory is forever. And who told you that? My coach Taino. He used to say that before every single race. Talking about high school, what is one thing you'll really miss? The teachers and the extracurriculars. What extracurriculars were you a part of? <laughs> Which ones weren't I a part of? I did everything pretty much. I did the morning broadcast, the school newspaper, National Honor Society, student to student, and also student government. So besides sports, are you going to continue any of these in college? Yes, or at least I'm hoping to. Maybe the broadcast and the newspaper? You have a face for broadcast. <laughs> Thank you. You're heading to Miss Earth in October, right? Yes, I am. And where is that? <clears throat> it is actually in Manila in the Philippines. Have you been to the Philippines before? Yes, I have. How many times? Um, just about four times. And what's your favorite part? The people. Everyone is so nice and so kind and welcoming, but I also have to admit the shopping's pretty great. <laughs> I've heard you love traveling. What's your favorite place you've been? Hmm. Other than the Philippines, Mongolia or Europe. Those are my two favorite. <laughs> and what's your favorite part of traveling? Um, getting to know the different people, the cultures, and also getting to understand the history behind everything. Besides traveling, what's something you and your family love to do together? We love having dinner together. And what makes that so great? Um, we, it's just a time for all of us to bond and joke around and just have some fun. So part, pets are a huge part of your family. What pets do you have? Um, I have two cats, Murmur and Delilah, and I also have a pet uh, bunny. His name's Harold. <laughs> What's your favorite animal? Um, if you guys know me, you would know the answer to that is cats. <laughs> and what are some of the favorite, your favorite animals you've ever held before? Ooh, I've held so many different types. I have to say that I really, really enjoyed holding tigers, bats, swimming with dolphins and sharks, um, monkeys, and snakes. You seem to really love animals. What is something you do to help protect them in their habitats? I make sure that I don't use plastic straws. I also try to get people around me not to use them as well. Isn't that a big part of your Miss Earth campaign? Yes, it is. I've heard that this year's theme is Goddesses of the Earth. Have you picked one yet? Yes, I have, but I cannot share it with you. But I will let you know that it really represents my personality. Speaking of the pageant, what are you most excited about? <laughs> I'm really excited to get to know the different contestants and learn more from professionals that know how to take care of the environment. I recently saw that you went to an animal rescue center. Can you tell me a bit about that? Honestly, it was so much fun. It was really interesting to see how this organization takes in animals that were born in captivity and abused and how they take care of them now. What's the most interesting animal you saw there? Hmm. It was a mix between a lion and a tiger. A liger. <laughs> I saw on the same day you went to a solar city. Can you yes. tell me a bit about that? Um, it is a community all run by solar panels and solar power. It's really neat. And what renewable energy source do you think should be used more often? Um, solar power. I think that's something really important, and I even use it in my pool. It's really inspiring to see an earth warrior like you use, rene use renewable energy. What other advice do you have? 
um, when anybody goes shopping, try not to use the plastic bags that they give you or even the brown bags. Bring your own. Oh yeah, you have a campaign on Guam dealing with reusable bags, right? Yes, I do. And who do you work with again? Um, I had the opportunity to work with the Bank of Guam, um, Payless, and also Mr. Teen Model of the Pacific of 2018. What other campaigns do you run under Miss Earth Guam besides beach cleanups and tree planting? Um, I got the opportunity to start and run a For the Love of Books campaign. Can you explain that? Yes. It is a way that I got everybody involved to collect used books and donate them back into the schools of Guam. That's really cool. How many books did you collect in total? I collected just about 2,500. Speaking of which, do you enjoy reading? Yes, I think it's a very important part of our everyday life. How about movies? Do you have any favorites? Um, love Simon, and I'm absolutely addicted to the series of Twilight. Any TV shows you love? Yes, um, Modern Family. Speaking of comedies, do you have a favorite joke? Yes, I do. You ready to hear it? Mm-hmm. How do you make a tissue dance? How? Put a little boogie in it. <laughs> Speaking of boogie, do you like to dance? Yes. <laughs> Can you show me some of your favorite dance moves? No, 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 not today. Do you enjoy listening to music? Uh, who doesn't? Do you have a favorite song? Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls. How about a favorite artist? Hmm. Too many. So, let's do a quick speed round on favorites. Okay, I'm ready. What's your favorite color? Pink. Article of clothing? Dress. Shoes? Heels. Accessories? My Guam seal necklace and big earrings. <laughs> How about makeup? Mm, mascara. Do you have a favorite school subject? Language arts. A place to shop? Urban Outfitters. Your favorite season? Mm, the summer. I'm an island girl at heart. <laughs> How about flower? A lily. And your favorite app? Um, Instagram. What is your Instagram? Uh, Irma101. How about Twitter? Irma LOL. Is there any other social media I can find you at? Um, on Instagram, you can find me at Miss Earth Guam. Well, it was really great seeing you today. When are you heading off to college? Um, the end of this month. Any new videos I can look forward to in the meantime? Yes, my upcoming vlog when I move into college. Awesome. Thank you again for having us. Where's the door again? <laughs> this way. Thank you so much. Three roommates. <laughs> Emma, I was so fine. I was so Even fine. though you...